girls were waiting at Tullamarine for the arrival of... Brownlow history. BHP shareholders run a gauntlet of off-teddy protesters. And pop group pandemonium as Take That hits town. Good evening. A day of celebration for surprise Brownlow medalist Paul Kelly. The win was such a shock for the Sydney skipper, he had to buy a suit for today's round of engagements. And as Jim Wilson reports, there was an emotional reunion with his wife, who'd stayed home for his night of nights. Showing the stamina that has made him one of the league's most courageous and determined footballers, Paul Kelly partied through the night. Then, from early morning, he was the centre of media attention around Australia. To take the, the, the Brownlow medal out of Melbourne, you know, the, the home of football, um, up to Sydney. It's really hard to, to get such an honour and uh, sort of be by yourself. You know, it, I can't wait back to get back there and, uh, you know, and, and share it with him. There are emotional scenes when he was greeted by wife Lindell. She'd watched last night's Canada sellout function in Sydney and had no hesitation flying south this morning to join her man. He's very genuine. Um, you get what you see. Kelly arrived here late yesterday afternoon with a hired dinner suit, a pair of tracksuit pants and an old T-shirt. But winning the Brownlow forced him to a quick stop at Country Road for a new suit for the carbine luncheon. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Still haven't been a bit yet. From South Yarra, it was on to Flinders Park where his guest of honour of the famed carbine club meeting at the AFL Sensation. I declare Paul Kelly the 1995 Brownlow medal winner. There have been few more popular winners of the fairest and best in what was a huge boost for the game up in Sydney. Three cheers for the 1995 Brownlow medalist, Paul Kelly. Kelly was hugged by the man who made the number 14 Guernsey famous at the Swans, triple Brownlow medalist, Bob Skilton. And he shared a special moment with his best mate, former Swan, Barry Mitchell. <laughs> and Victorians welcome betting for the first time here on last night's Brownlow count. National Sportsbook took more than $250,000, which was well beyond their expectations. Paul Kelly, the first winner of Charlie, who hasn't played for a Victorian club. Jim Wilson, Seven Nightly News.